Hey everyone, welcome to HD Piano. This is Joe. Today, Home to You by Sigrid. This is a beautiful piece of music it's from the film Aeronauts. And this is the intro and verse one. Three, four. Now the verse. And then we're into our pre-chorus, which is our next video. Now this is a great one to play along to the uh, recording with. She has got an incredible voice. If there is such a thing as the voice of an angel, I think Sigrid may have it. Anyway, this is middle C. We're playing today in the key of A flat major. So we've got four flats to consider. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. A quick question for you. I searched high and low for a decent question about Sigrid, but she's quite new. She's incredibly successful, no wonder because she's amazing. But I just want to know, what other Norwegian pop stars are there? She's, Nor she's from, I think, Asseland is how you pronounce it. Post sorry if I've got that wrong. But which other pop stars have we got from the uh, land of the Nords, Norway? Which other pop stars are from Norway? Because I don't have a clue. Apologize for my ignorance if you are Norwegian or if you are fluent in the uh, creative output of Norway. Anyway, we start off, guess what, in the key chord, as we often do. And we've got the root note here, A flat in the bass, with an A flat major third on top. I often describe intervals in their names, I often say major third, minor third, and it's just a major third because it's one, two, three notes of the scale away from the bottom note, and it's the one, two, third note of the major scale. That's why you call it a major third. So A flat major third. And do that twice. That's on beat one and beat two. It's quite slow this one, 70 beats per minute. So when I'm playing half speed, it'll be 35 beats per minute. One, two. And then you just drop that A flat in the right hand down like that. And that gives you A flat major seven. Root, major seven, and three. And just like that's the major third. One, two, three. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven. It's just the major seventh note that appears in the major scale. The seventh note that appears in the major scale. The A flat major third. Again. A flat major seventh. Again. Just like that. That's bar one. Let's do that again. One more time with that. And the next bar, we drop another note in the top. What do you reckon we get? Tell you what, we get A flat six. If this is root, this is seven, this is six. Still got the third note up there, the sixth note here, and the root note here. And that's beat one, beat two, and then we introduce quite a few notes here. So this is the root note, of course, again. Fifth note, major seventh note, and third note of A flat. So this is just A flat major seven again, just a variation of one, two, and uh, and I should have said three, four, and uh. We've got some rhythmic sort of nuance after that in that we go one, we play some sixteenths in the right hand, three, and four, e, and uh. We've got a dotted quaver or a dotted eighth note followed by a semi-quaver, a sixteenth on the final beat of the bar. Three, four, e, and uh. And in the left hand, we play on beat four and with this. Three, four, e, and uh. And that rhythmic cat pattern happens all the way through this piece. Three, four, e, and uh. So that bar starts with A flat six. One, two, then A flat major seven. Three, and then the rhythmic nuance. Again, A flat six. And then A flat major seven. Four, e, and uh. One more time with that, A flat six, and then A flat major seven. Four, e, and uh. back to that. Do this again. Major seven, this is bar three now. 
and then six, this is bar four, two and three, four e and a. Now there was not much difference really there, apart from we played something on beat two and, two and three, another A flat down there on beat two and, a bar four, two and three, and then here, four e and a. we just miss out the major seven, so we just get an A flat, it's not as colourful as the major seven. One, two, and three, four, e, and a. And that's our introduction. One, two, and three, four, e, and a. And our first verse starts now in exactly the same way. A flat major third, A flat major seven, A flat six, two, and three, it's just like the second half of our introduction, the second two bars of our introduction. Then we carry on. A flat major third, again. A flat major seven. A flat six. Now a change. And what does a change often indicate? It means we're going somewhere else next. So this is bar four of our first verse. We've done A flat six. And then this time, A flat in the bass with E flat major third. Three, four, and. That's very colourful. As in, there's character there. So that's E flat major third, as in the one, two, three, the third note, G, with the root note of E flat, of the E flat major scale, with A flat in the bass. Three, four, and. Just like that. So that bar, A flat six, one, two, three, four, and, and that's it. Last time with that. And then, D flat. So here, this bar is one, two, and three, four, E, and, uh, that rhythmic pattern again but first of all D flat major third this time D flat with the third note of the D flat major scale which is F makes D flat major third one two and move that third up scalically gives you E flat major third with D flat in the bass more color and that's three and then this rhythmic pattern four e and uh, just like that one two and three and uh, just like that. Last time with that. And then our final bar of the video. It's just that. So you can't really call this D flat major third, because it's not. But it is still part of a D flat chord, because you've got the root note here, and this is the third and the fifth note of a D flat chord. It's not a D flat major third, if anything, if you're gonna name it, it's actually an F minor third, because this is the one, two, not major note that appears in the major scale, it's the one, two, third note of the minor scale, so you call that a minor third. But let's not think about it as an F minor third, let's just think about it as the top half of a D flat major chord. And then an E flat third major with D flat in the bass. That again, one, two, three, four, and that's it. And that is how you play the intro and first verse of Home To You by Sigrid from the film Aeronauts, which I have not seen, but I'm tempted to take my little ones. It sounds very pretty and nice. And this music is extremely pretty and nice. My superlatives I have on display today are not particularly varied. Anyway, let's go back and play that again from the intro. One, two, three, four.
going into the pre-chorus. Which is our next video. Sounds much better when Sigrid's singing along. If you have a voice like Sigrid, I advise you to sing along. But then I also advise you to go and find an agent and start yourself on the uh, pathway to becoming a pop superstar. But anyway, I don't have a voice like uh, Sigrid, sadly. Or maybe that's not sad. That would be incredibly weird. This has been Joe, HD Piano. Enough weird stuff. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and then head on over to the website hdpiano.com for the remaining videos of this. There are actually quite a few. We've got five tutorials to learn plus the whole song. So this isn't just a simple little pop track like a lot of these often are. This has got quite a lot of detail to it. And yes, enjoy. The piano is great. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Joe again, HD Piano. Bye for now.